so this is uh, my um, uh, uh, sort of criticism or review or uh, rant on uh, a game I uh, have huge fond memories of uh, growing up with, and I I think uh, my biggest issues with uh, I don't know something with the art style implemented with the remasters of Broken Sword One and Two. Uh, have never worked entirely for me. Um, I did like the UI update I did with the um, buttons and such, but uh, in the Broken Sword 2 Remastered, but uh, even though this is, in a way, better than the director's cut, because uh, there was lots of gameplay mechanics they cut out, uh, which kind of was much more superior in the original one, such as consequences for your actions and such. But uh, the art style, uh, it's not the art itself, it's more how it's implemented, like... Um, I think the problem is they had like someone draw stock footages of uh, you know expressions of a character, and then they just kind of move their mouths around. And uh, the the problem is it doesn't really. It feels very static. It feels lifeless. Like uh, if you play the original Broken Sword two, even without the subtitles and such, you can like, see the animations and expressions despite the. Uh, uh, the, the limitations at the time because the animations itself worked with what the characters are emoting and it takes effort. And uh, to prove a point, I'm actually going to um, uh, stop this video and I'm gonna. I made actually a, a fan animation of uh, what they could look like if there was more expression, but I'm a terrible artist, so this is just a, more like doodles uh, type of stuff. Uh, um, yeah, like this. The thing is, you don't really need to see the picture of characters because you can see them on screen. You can like play the original one, and it works uh, for the atmosphere. But uh, uh, I guess uh, to compare what I mean, I try to <laughs> make my own version of this, and uh, you know, you can shit on my terrible art for this. But uh, um, uh, just to compare, I'm gonna take first the remastered. Um, animations of one conversation between George and Andre in the game, and then I'm gonna take like uh, what I uh, made of it. So I'm just gonna stop in the compare here. So that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nicole told me to guard it with my life. Oh, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh my god, you mean I could be in danger too? So that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nicole told me to guard it with my life. Well, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh my god, you mean I could be in danger too? So yeah, uh, I hope you didn't hate my too much, but yeah, it's horrible art. But, uh, but, but you see, my point is, uh, uh, it, the remaster has too much of a... Uh, it, it's almost like it's not really makes sense for the conversation because uh, you see the characters how they re react uh, in the cutscene or the way they talk in this and then you see the art style and it uh, it feels too almost like uh, they had like static images and then they added like facial animations with a lower part and it doesn't add up to what you see in the scene and I think that's the problem it feels like it uh, over exaggerates uh, what a natural what it naturally looks like like i don't know maybe it would take uh, more effort if they actually had like a guy animating scene by scene uh, you know depending on what they see on the screen but at least it will be more sensical i don't know i just i guess um it's a, it's at least kind of better than the first director's cut i guess but i don't know man I personally just think the atmosphere of the original 997 port is just way better. It just, uh, you know, you can uh, like embrace the story and you just see the art on the screen. It's just amazing to look at. And I think the remaster just uh, over exaggerates because uh, my, the, the problem is you are just so distracted by the images. Um, uh, but, but it doesn't really feel like 
they react the same way they do see them on the screen reacting with the animations and the beautiful artwork and such uh, so i don't know man um so i guess i don't know i would say like a six out of ten is my rating for the remastered and uh, uh nine out of ten for the original nine and seven port but uh uh, you know, let me know what you think. I mean, I don't think this was an effortless one, but it feels soulless compared to the original one. Uh, that's just what I think. Uh, uh, maybe, I don't know. It's, yeah, I'm just going to give it a 6 out of 10, because there was uh, some effort to put in it, but uh, it's not... Uh, I did, it's definitely not what I would say is like the definitive one to go with, you know. But yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you for listening, and bye.